All right, everyone, here we go with the 1111 portal. The energetic new year for those of you new to portal energies. And no, it doesn't. Some people say it's hokey shit. These portals are 11, 11. It's just a date on a calendar and the calendars are nothing. They're just pieces of paper that we use to track the earth's movement around the sun. And yeah, you're right. Uh, but there is, and that's why I don't do portal readings. There's, there's no five, five portal, six, six portal, four, four portal. There is, that's just numerology. There just happens to be around around the 8th of August, uh, nothing around the 9th of September, around the 10th of October, around the 11th of November, and around the 12th of December. Around, okay? Around there. There just happens to be some kind of burst of energy that comes through. It just always does, okay? And that's all. I'm not going to put any hocus pocus on it, all right? So we call it the 1111 portal, but it's going on right now. It's, it, it lasts a little while. Think of somebody who left the sink on in the kitchen, right? The water's running, right? It's not, you could just do a little blast and rinse your hands and shut it off, but somebody left it running. It runs for a little bit, and that's it. And then it shuts off, and then it sort of dissipates out. It ripples through the waters of the energy around us, of the river, if you will. Okay? So, 11-11 portal, it's the energetic new year. It's the time of year where the energy resets. It's sort of... The energies, well, it's the energies new year, but it's a little, it's, it's a, well, anyway, it's tough to explain. I'm not going to confuse things. Either way, set your intentions, put them out there. It's, a, it's one of the best times of the year for manifesting. Those manifestations will start to activate around the 12, 12 portal next month. Okay. So keep that in mind. So what's going on? What's this energy with the 1111 portal? Well, this year it's a lot of introspection. It's a lot of looking around you. Take a look around and see if this is what you want. Is that who you want? Is that person in my life? Is that person on my side? Is that whatever? You got someone attached to you here in my surface read in the pre-shuffle is doing just that. Look at my sad rose, right? Somebody's looking around and you ain't there, okay? And somebody knows that it was their choice that you're not there. Somebody is realizing they made a bad choice here at the 1111 portal. And that's a good thing. Why? Because 1111 is about new beginnings. But the thing about those new beginnings, whether they're good or bad, is they're balanced. They're very stable. Okay? So, I will tell you, somebody here knows that they fucked up. Okay? That's an easy way to phrase this energy. It's just on the surface. Right? There's, they're holding a lot of love for you. Queen of Cups, the most love I could pull. They would love to try again and have some new adventures with you, and the 1111 portal would support that. I think they may even be trying to manifest some sort of new beginning. It is possible. It really is. Even if this is someone, oh, Steve, that person's long gone, blah, blah, blah. No, you'd be surprised. A deep soul connection lasts and lasts and lasts. You pop back in all the time. Um, thing is, while I've got someone here, you know, pulling up their big boy, big girl pants with the emperor, I got a, I got a fraidy cat emperor here with the four of pentacles, bookending the five of pentacles. Somebody's afraid that that, they're making a mistake again by coming towards you. So in other words, I get someone who feels like they made the wrong decision not coming towards you, just to sum it up, just to kind of take, just to give you an example, just catch my drift here. They realize they made a the bad decision by not coming towards you. They feel left out. There's a lot of love. They'd love some new adventures, but they're afraid that if they take control and make another decision that they're going to fuck that. That's a mistake too. So it's sort of a damned if they do, damned if they don't type energy. So we got to see where this is going. I suspect it comes your way. I suspect this person might take a chance, all right? But I also suspect that a small percentage of them won't. So don't be surprised, okay? So just don't. I mean, it's right here. I can't predict free will. I wish I could. I can. Okay, let's shuffle the deck. Let's do it. Give me the soulmate cycle universe with the influence of the 1111 portal, which most energy readers just call the energetic new year. The portal stuff is for the, you know, the... It's for the YouTube crowd a little bit, you know, it's just there's some energy around this time of year and it, it, it's always a reset type energy. It feels like a reboot. Okay, that's all. It's the, you know, if the universe is a computer, it's the, it's the time of year that, it, re, that it, it, it restarts, right? It's like my computers. I leave them on for all the time. I just put them to sleep close the lid, et cetera, et cetera. I never really shut down. About once a month, I give it a reboot just to refresh some of the RAM. But, you know, well, it's, a bit of, it's a bit of that. The universe now decides, well, we ain't got a lot of RAM left. Let's go ahead and reboot. Let's see. So that's what's going on. That's your pre-shuffle. First card out's before the cuts. Why the fuck are we here? 
It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot here for a reason, this reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. Why? I want everybody to say it at once. I'm not a fucking time lord. Exactly. That's exactly right. All right. You're all moving at different speeds on your timelines, and please fucking remember that I can't predict free will. All right. I'm not the warlock on the hill, and I'm not a time lord. I'm just me. I'm just a person just like you. Well, <clears throat> I might be warmer than you right now. I don't know, because it's hotter than fucking hell in here. God, what is going on? Um, it is the Ace of Cups is why we're here. Yeah. Well, what did I just say? The cut card. <laughs> My voice goes up five octaves. But the, the cut cards back up the pre-shuffle. Somebody, I got somebody very sad that they made a bad, they still think about you. Okay? They, they do. They still think about you. They're still very sad you're not in your life. For a lot of you, this is your fucking runner. These energies, the, the portal energies dig deep. They go much deeper than just someone at work that got a little crush on you or some shit like that. Okay? This is a big deal. Whoever this person is, it's someone very important energetically to you anyway. They may not be important in your life, and they may not, you may not need them to succeed in life. But energetically, they're quite important to you. You're quite important to each other, actually. But this person kind of fucked it up. It comes after the Seven of Pentacles. That's new love showing up, the Ace of Cups. This is telling me this is the time. The energy's there for it. Okay? If you got some kind of super fuck with, they won't show up. I can't, you know, I can't account for that. But what is going on with my table today? Strange day today, I will tell you. All right, let's go. Let's give the deck a final shuffle. Looks good to me. Harvest time. Time for somebody to tell you how they feel. To share some feelings that have been in that cup. Now, let me point out, the Ace of Cups sits for a while. The, the water in it starts to taste like shit. You can get a little bit toxic. Go ahead and take a glass of water, fresh from your sink or fresh from a bottle or whatever it is. Pour, oh, pour it into a glass and leave it on your counter for like a month or two. And come back and take a sip out of it. I promise you, it doesn't taste very good. All right, it's not gonna. It's gonna. It's. It will. Have, I'm not gonna say it will have grown toxic, but it's a little bit icky. So there's some icky here. Okay, a little bit. Maybe it could just be the way I read the energy. Somebody's got some explaining to do. They might. I don't know. Well, I, they may very well. Let's shuffle the deck. Let's see where we go. The overall energy of our reading is the Eight of Pentacles. My nose is running like a DM. It's been doing that a lot lately. You know. No, it's not COVID. Relax. Um, eight, of, <laughs> eight of Pentacles. Um, what's fueling that? The Six of Pentacles. It's an energy of somebody that feels obliged to give. In other words, if they, if someone just, it's, it's up to their free will. These are minor arcana cards. But it's like, I want to go to your house. I know I want to, but I don't because I know I'm going to have to explain to you why I'm there and all kinds of crap. And I don't want to do that. But the moment I decide not to do it, I start to feel bad. I get, I get stuck. I'm stuck on this. I, I have to do it. It's somebody, something somebody feels obliged to do it, to, to give to you, to talk to you, to give you something. All right, um, it's because of the energy. It's because of what's going on right now. Look, the other card of divine timing, the star. This is pretty powerful, right? It's, you can't just say no. I don't want to do this. This is some serious shit here. I said this was an important energy to you. All right, right here's the energy around your connection. Right here's the 3D energy around this person. Right here's their their soul. Right here's the hidden energy message from the universe. Red with the energy connection. Right here's the potential final outcome. Usually red with the 3D energies. Okay. I say potential because I can't predict free will. I'll clarify everything. Throw some universe cards at the end. And you bet your sweet asses I'm going to extend this. Because it's a, because it's a fucking 11-11 portal energy. It's the energetic new year. It looks like you got, you got a new new love. So, oh my God, it always freezes there. What the hell? I dared think for a second as I was going through. Because this is where it always freezes. Because this is where the energy starts to swirl. Because we're about to do the reading. I dared, I dared think, oh my God, it's not going to freeze. It's the 11-11 portal reading and it's not going to freeze? Gosh, I wonder if something's wrong. And sure enough, there it went. Yep, I knew it. I left the freeze. I won't edit that out because I want you to see it. It happens all the fucking time right there. Okay. All right, let's go. This is powerful shit. This really is. It may not seem like much with that card here, but you try getting out of a spider web, right? Strength-wise, pound for pound, I tell you what, if you had a, a spider web the size of a rope 
you know, a, a one inch around spider web could stop a plane, you know, with the same, it's very, very strong shit. It's just they're very, if somebody here cannot look away, all right? Energy around your connection. Justice, yeah, it's a powerful card. That's a powerful card. The black cat and the white cat are about to have a conversation. That's the energy of, of that. I read that card a hundred different ways. That is the energy. Justice. Here we go. It's time. We're ready to rock. All right. Okay. 3D energies around this person. It's going to be what? I mean, I don't, I don't have anything else I need to say there. But 3D energies. Two of wands. Yep. Then What's what I said about the overall energy. They said, I set the intention. I know I have to come talk to you. Right? I'm this person. I know I have to come talk to you. I try to talk myself out of it. I can't because this spider web is really strong. Right? And again, there you go. Somebody just, it's their focus. This, the intention is set. They're going. They may need a drink to do it first. Whoever, the, for a few of you, it's my tequila sunrise energy <laughs> a little bit. They may need a drink to do it, but I don't know. But somebody definitely, we've got some, what's, what's bookending the, the, the soul? Is, their soul is here. Bookends justice. Yeah, the nine of pentacles. Um, I will say somebody wishes they didn't have to do this, but they feel like they have to. Somebody returning that you didn't expect to hear from. This is something, in this new energetic new year, right? In the energetic new coming fresh energy, new cycle, new year, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, uh, expect people to come out of the woodwork here. Okay. Um, also, if your person, is, if this person was married, and that's why you can't be together, somebody definitely you're not sharing any soul space with anybody. Somebody's I don't know if they've gotten a divorce, but they've certainly you're the only thing in their soul. Okay. Can I put it that way? Okay. Wow. Um, but it would be with the Nine of Pentacles and Justice that would be a divorce type energy. Okay. Type they've separate separated or they're just disconnected emotionally from it is most likely the case. Um, because of how the cards fell. Hidden energy message from the universe. King of Pentacles. Red with justice. Um, the conversation is about what you mean to this person. The conversation is about talking about what's in that Ace of Cups. Okay? That's what it's about. The intention is to bring stability. I think it does, but I can't say for sure yet. What's red with the mm, two of wands, the potential final outcome? Yeah, hangman. Um, there's two energies here, and I'm not sure which one to give you, so I'll just give you both. One, it's not really as yet, un, uh, as yet unknown, right? It, it's not really sure how this is going to turn out. That's for a few of you. It's probably if you got more, more of a flaky person or someone who's less likely, like it's been like 20 years and they're less likely to show up. Um, for the rest of you here, you're, you're going to have a new perspective on yourself from this conversation. Not on this person, just on yourself, about yourself. Okay? This, whatever is happening, why is this per, uh, I'll phrase it this way. Why is this person important? I said this is a very important energy for you. Like you're fine, you know, it doesn't hinder your success or anything like that if, if they don't show up. I'm just saying your two energies are kind of a couple of important ingredients, you know, uh, in, in, the, in this recipe here. Um, okay, I will just shuffle. Justice, I'm not sure how to phrase it and I don't want to phrase it wrong because if I get it wrong, ah. I mean, this conversation you have with this person changes some decisions you're going to make in the future, okay? So if this person shows up, it's because some of your decisions you might make in the future need to be changed, all right? So keep that in mind. Every, sort of the everything happens for a reason sort of thing, okay? So just keep that in mind. It's why this, this energy is very important to you. This energy provides you with perspective. It has the ability to do that. You provide it with perspective as well. Perspective is a valuable commodity. We don't often get it. Well, a lot of times societal energies in particular, because there's a lot of lower vibrational people out there, get clouded by devil type energies and they have very little perspective beyond what, the, you know, they can't even see their hand in front of their face, metaphorically speaking. 
This energy really gives you a long view. It really does. It's very nice for you. Why is justice here? Why is it here? Uh, it's crossed by victory. Everything I just said is crossed by the Six of Wands. It's victory after a long battle energy. The black cat and the white cat have a long, long waited for conversation. Oh, I believe that. What's on top? Yeah, the hermit. And why is the hermit here? The four cups. Um, somebody, again, I've got an inter, I, you got a very powerful soulmate here who feels like they have to. They don't. There's there's an energy of apathy around this person's reapproach. It just keeps coming up over and over again. I, I, you can see it on this card. They just they they feel obliged, but they don't, the connection is so powerful it's hard to deny. Okay, I suspect we get past the two of wands stage here. I don't know. The, the six of wands would certainly indicate that. But anyway, why is the uh, two of wands here in their life? Is somebody? It's, it shows somebody making different decisions, looking in new directions, and setting the intention to really try and make some changes. Okay? Whoever this person is, they really want to make some changes. Now, it is a two of wands. People get to this stage all the time and back out, right? This is the New Year's resolution. Everybody in two of wands. I'm going to go work out every day this year. Six days at the gym, baby. By the end of the year, I'm going to look like Arnold fucking Schwarzenegger. Yeah. And they end up looking like Arnold Schwarzenegger now because they never went to the fucking gym any of those days. But, you know, we all get to the two of wands stage about all kinds of things. So, why is the two of wands here? <laughs> oh, what's going on? Tell me about it. Crossed by the two of pentacles. Somebody is intent on making different decisions. It, it, it's that George Costanza energy we joke about all the time from that famous Seinfeld episode where George decides that notices that if he does the opposite of what he thinks he should do, everything works out great. It's a bit of that. I mean, on the humorous side, it's a bit of that. What's on top? A ten of wands. But it's hard. What did I say? Rewind. I said it is. It it, it is hard. It's heavy. It's difficult for this person to make different decisions. It's hard. You can see that you could feel the heat here. It's hot. Someone feels forced to make a decision. I'll keep this. Um, I've said enough about New Year's resolutions and we don't do things. Where it pertains to you, this is where the apathy is coming from. This is where that energy of they feel obliged. It's hard to make this decision, but they can't not. They can't just keep the balls in the air. It's too hot. There's too much heat here. All right. Um, why is the Ten of Wands here? Yeah, justice. That ties exactly back to this. And, it's, and which has this, the apathy on top of it, which is exactly what I just described to you. Why it's there. Okay? Somebody feels obliged to do it. They, they, want, they, they want to and they don't want to. The only reason they don't want to is because they're not sure if they're making a the right decision. And this is a person who doesn't like to be embarrassed or get egg on their face. It's obviously a very ego-based person. Okay? Which we know anyway because they reflect it as the emperor from the pre-shuffle. So, duh. Right. Okay, nine pentacles here. All right. I'm sorry to get all technical with you with big vocabulary words. Now you got to go Google. Oh, my God. He said, duh. What does duh mean? You know, it's, it's D-U-H, and it means no shit, Sherlock. Right? It's like that. So, what's going on here? I don't mean to use big words. I know three letters. That's a lot. I think I had a recent reading where I spelled the word as wrong. I spelled it with an O, so, you know, anyway. You want your math from me. You don't necessarily want your English and grammar. <laughs> All right, here we go. Math I'm good at, though. You can trust my math. You got trouble with your math homework? Come on by. I'll take care of it. All right, what's going on? Nine pentacles. Why is it here? Nine Pentacles. Tell me about it. It's crossed by the magician. There's something's happened here. It's like somebody woke up in a new timeline. Schrodinger's, Schrodinger, they get, they got a brand new Schrodinger's cat box or something, and it, there's a huge transformation that's happened in this person's soul. All of a sudden, their inner free spirit has been released in this energetic new year. This portal. We'll, we'll go ahead and put the hocus pocus on it so everybody happy because there's hocus pocus here on this card in there. Look, right? 
in this portal energy, this person's inner free spirit is released. They don't like it. It makes them feel uncomfortable. They cross their arms about it right there. You can see them crossing their arms. But doesn't matter. It's not stopping them. I got justice twice here. That might be the title of this reading, justice twice. That's, that's pretty powerful. That's a powerful energy to have it come back twice in positions that tie to one another, I might add. What's going on? What's on top? Yeah, the two of pentacles. That was crossing here. This, these energies, 5D, primary energy flow, 5D to 3D. These energies flow from here to here. So yeah, somebody's inner free spirit is open. It's what I just said. It's a wide awake, inner free spirit, kind of activated by this portal energy. And someone here, while they don't like it, they're making decisions. They really are, because I got justice here. Somebody makes a decision. They're making different decisions than they made before. They're making them from a soul perspective of a free spirit. Somebody who knows that something is a soul connection. When I say free spirit, I don't want you to imagine your person's all of a sudden a hippie and they're dancing around a field with long hair and, and bare feet and shit and, you know, with a, a, a pipe in their hands of some smoke coming out of it. No, I, I, it's not about, it's not a Grateful Dead concert. It's just, when I say that, the only people that really can feel soul connections are people that can feel their soul, and those aren't practical people. Those aren't, those tend not to be people that are closed off to such things, such nonsense, that they're very ego-based. The ego, the, the, the brain wants to protect you. The brain wants to shut that down. No, you might get hurt. No, you don't want to believe that stuff. No, you don't want to whatever. In this portal energy, all of a sudden, yeah, it's a soul connection. I see it now. I see the value of that connection. And somebody wants to come tell you what you mean to them. Although at the same time, there's a there's an energy of apathy attached to it because it's hard. It's not it's out of character for this person. They may not even be sure why they're doing it while they're doing it. Whoever this is, this is somebody that has been gone a while. So before you start thinking it's my current runner, it might be your last runner. I mean, this is old energy. Okay, it's been around a while. That could just mean you have a deep, 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 deep soul connection with this person that goes back dozens, if not hundreds of lifetimes. But it can also mean that somebody, it's somebody that, that's further back in your life in this particular lifetime. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Yeah, this is a powerful soulmate. Look, I just got done talking about they feel the soul connection. Soulmates, balanced energy. Yeah, these new beginnings are very balanced. They really are in the 1111 portal. That's what I like about them. That's why your manifestation power is so strong, too, because it's a balanced energy. It carries a long way, right? You know, if, if the, if, if, well, think about anything. If, if, the, if the wheels on your car are properly balanced, it's going to roll better than if they're not. That's why the tire shop balances them for you. Otherwise, you end up leaving there and your steering wheel doing this and the wheels doing this and that and the other thing, right? You know, I mean... It is what it is. It's very balanced energy. Somebody is well aware you're a fucking soulmate in this energy. They may not use that vernacular, but they're well aware of it. Somebody who before was a little like, oh, I don't know about that. May have been nonsense to them before, for all I know. Well, now, let's talk about, you're going to find out about your value. Somebody sees it's a soul connection. I already said that. Here you go. He's your soulmate, but I had that with the hermit anyway. And they were going to come tell you what you mean to. In return, you get a perspective about yourself. It could just be one small thing. You know, don't come at me and go, Steve, I already feel great about myself. I know I'm fucking great. Okay, well, you go find out one little aspect you hadn't considered. Okay? You know, or maybe you learned some humility. Stop saying you're great. Okay, but I don't know. One or the other. What's going on with the King of Pentacles here? Tell me about it. <laughs> All right, what do we get? Let's see. King of Pentacles. Tell me about it. I don't know why I've got the, the police King of Pain in my head. This shouldn't be. That shouldn't be the song attached to this. Mm. Um, it's crossed by the Two of Swords. It cuts both ways. For some of you, it's painful to see this person. I get it. It cuts both ways. There's two Swords of Truth here. For some, there's, well, look, there's more than one person watching. There's more than two people watching. There's thousands of people watching. Okay? I want everybody to stop for a second, especially the people that jump down my throat out there on the Twitter. Stop for a second and consider my plight that I've got to pull a reading for thousands of people who are all dealing with a different person. Okay? Having said that, 
For some of you, it's painful to see this person or hear from this person again. Keep that in mind. King of pain. For others of you, you, so in other words, if it's painful, I don't mean it's, it's hurtful to hear from them or they say bad things, but that perspective that they give you make you see something about yourself that maybe you never wanted to look at before. That's a possibility. But that's also a good thing. I just gave you the example of humility, right? I said, well, Steve, I, I'm already great. Well, okay, well, maybe you get the chance to learn some humility here. You find out an area where you're not. Something you refuse to look at. Most people that think they're great, most arrogant people, I'm not saying it's you now, I'm just on a tangent, but most arrogant people, they just, they just don't look at the shit that's bad about them. Usually when the outside person, us, sees the arrogant person, we see all the shit that's wrong. They're not going to admit it. You can't say anything to them. They're never going to, a narcissist will never admit there's anything wrong with them, but you know, it's a bit of that. So for some of you, this is painful to talk to this person for a number of reasons. It could just be it's painful to talk to them or you miss them or, you, you know, whatever. I don't know. Or you, they show you a perspective of yourself that you don't usually like to look at. For others of you, it's beautiful. It's glorious. It's fantastic. It's King of Pentacles on top of King of Pentacles. You see what I'm saying? What did I say? Look, this is, this backs up. Look at this. It keeps spinning. This, this backs up my energy read here. This, this is red with the hermit. The King of Pentacles is red with the hermit. The King of Pentacles also red with justice, which the hermit is on top of. I mean, it is. It is. Somebody's coming to tell you what you mean to them. Good and bad. I think for most of you, it's very positive. It's positive anyway, even if someone points out something, you know, uh, this is very good. This is a very positive energy. It's very nice overall, even if it does have two sides to it. Uh, why is the King of Pentacles here? Knight of Cups. <sighs> Again, this is red with the Four of Cups. There's that apathy energy, right? How do I, how do I, I'll phrase it from this because this is where the energy, the, I actually get an apathy here. The Knight of Cups takes orders from the King of Cups. He doesn't, but now he's got to take orders from the King of Pentacles. The King of, the King of Pentacles, he doesn't like that. I don't want to go with, I don't want to. All right, he's a king. I guess I got to, but, you know. Again, there is this. Somebody's very afraid here. Somebody's very nervous. It's a, it's a, it's a practical conversation about love coming at you, okay? There's a lot of love in it, but there's also, a, it has a deep, 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 deep purpose for you. I want you to try to figure out what you get out of it. Now, you might say, well, what if I'm one of the people that has a super fuck with and my person doesn't show up? You can learn from that, too. All right, I'm going to say this 1111 portal energy dissipates out. It runs right up to the 1212 in that kind of range. You will see signs that this person is around. Sign, may, they could be obvious signs on social media. They could just be the energy around you trying to show you they're around. Maybe their name is Jimmy. And you walk by and there's a billboard that just has the word Jimmy on it for some reason. It's, it's an advertisement for a Jimmy pickup truck. But still, you know, it, you happen to notice it. And it's like, why does it just say Jimmy? That's fucking crazy. Right? Like that. So take a look around. For most of you, this energy shows up. Look at the message from the universe. It ends with that. Okay. There is that level of apathy to it. Somebody, And that, that level of apathy can just come from somebody being nervous if it's been a while. For some of you, this is something that stretches back to the beginning of this soulmate cycle. In fact, I will say for about 60% of you, I'm going to guess there, but it's rough. This stretches back to something that, that occurred sometime between late 2018 and 2020 as a whole. Right up to the end of 2020. Something around there. Something in that time frame, the early portions of this particular soulmate cycle. For a good number of you, it's the person from then. Okay, is who this is about. For others of you, you just have to try and figure it out. Again, you, you, there's thousands of people watching. I'm doing my best, you know. The hangman. For others of you, this might be somebody from from a past energy, you know, a past cycle. So this could be somebody from your childhood never told you what you mean to them. You could either way, you're still influencing this person's life. Even if this is someone you're you, you went to a school dance with that still thinks about you 20, 30 years later. You've influenced their life. And I think they've just reached a point here with this 1111 portal energy, the way it liberates them over here in the soul, that they like they just want to try and reach out and tell you. It, it is entirely possible. 
But if you're trying to figure out who it is for a lot of you, stick to the time frame of late 2018 through 2020. Okay, something in that time frame. Let's go. Final, final is the hangman. What's the final, final on this? What do you want me to tell these people about this hangman? Because you gave me a couple of different energies. I stalled on it because I wasn't quite sure how to phrase it. It's crossed by the seven of cups, and that's why it's confusing. The universe itself, the energy that's coming in here is confused around this hangman. It's the old philosophy of when you don't know what to do, don't do anything at all. And that's what's happening here. I've got a short circuit in the energy. I've got a couple of things I can tell you that it could play out a lot of different ways. And it does. It could play out a lot of different ways. And it does. But for the most part, it offers perspective. In a perspective on how or who you are. Something about you meaning something to this person. And finding out whether it's good or bad doesn't matter. Plus or minus. You meaning something to whoever this person is activates something inside of you that causes you to make different decisions down the road which benefit you greatly. Okay? That's, that's the only way I know how to phrase it. What's on top? Three of Pentacles. Everything I just said just got backed up. Everything I just said. This is about, a, this builds, a, this perspective builds a new foundation for you to start from. Okay? A, a new starting point. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? The Ace of Cups. Wow. Um, for most of you, this is red with justice, which is over here in the energy of your connection. So it ties like that. So for a good enough number of you that it came up as the final outcome, which was also the card before the cut, the why the fuck are we here position from another deck. For enough of you, this conversation you have with whoever this is starts either a lifelong friendship or a new love. One or the other. It stays. It has staying power. Okay? It's very balanced. It's very good. It's very healthy either way. It's quite nice. It, it's a very... The 11-11 portal usually is. There's never anything... I don't get a lot of devil cards around the 11-11 portal off that. I'm not getting any here. This is really nice and it's all because of this energy. Let's not, let's not kid around. The portal energy is activating something here in the divine masculine side, the emperor side's soul which is very liberating. It opens up their inner free spirit, which allows them to come in and talk about peace, love, and understanding and all kinds of soulmates with soulmates and things like that. For most of you, this goes very good. For others of you, where it doesn't pertain to this person, where you know you go on and on and on with them, this, this new foundation, this new perspective that this provides, that this energy provides for you, allows you to be open to new love. It lets new love in. Okay? Wow. Uh, let's see what else the universe wants to tell you. Let's go pull some wicked voodoo on this. Let's find the devil. You want to find the devil? I do. Let's find the devil. Let's dig into your connection with this person. There's going to be a devil that lives in there. And we'll try and find it. Why? Because I don't want you blindsided by it. This is a very light-based reading. These are wonderful cards. I got angel energy all, all up the ass here. Okay? All kinds of... Ooh, the light. Ting, light. Ting, light. I don't like being a light worker. Light workers look at one side and they get blinded by the, by the dark. They get blinded by the light and then they get blindsided by the dark. You got to look at both. All right. So we're going to dig into your connection. We're going to see if we can find that devil just so you know. And maybe we find out a little bit about what this justice is all about for you. Justice is tied to the hangman. So we'll dig into that in the extended. For right now, let's see what the universe wants to tell you. Three cards and a crossing card from the bottom. What do you want to tell my people before I go pull some wicked voodoo on this shit? What do we get? 11-11 portal, let me tell you. That's some powerful fucking shit. Portal season, man. 12-12 is pretty important, too. It's underrated. 12-12 uh, is a very important energy. Um, it is the new year. It is where, if you're going to do, it's where your intentions you put out right now are activated at the 12-12 portal in, in December. So, any New Year's resolutions? Any Two of Wands you want to make? Two of Wands right there. Any Two of Wands you want to make? Make them now. They get activated at 12-12. They're likely to stick. If you wait till the end of the year, December 31st, January 1st, I'm going to start going to the gym every day. I'm going to make my intention. January 1st doesn't mean shit. It's just a day on a piece of paper or cardboard that we use to track the earth going around the sun. All right? 
That's why most most resolutions fail. People people start the two of wands at the wrong time. They started too late. Started in an energy where it's just you know now nah, it can be it won't stick. It's like showing up to a store after it closed. You know, well it's fine. You may want you may want the underwear, or the underpants, or the socks, but our store is closed, son. You know. We ain't open 24 hours. All right, Eight of Swords crossing the Nine of Swords and the base energy is a message for you. Six of Wands, well, that leads to a six, these are red center, left, right. Six of Wands and a Four of Wands. You want victory in this? Do you want to make this new energetic year something fantastic? Do you? Okay. Then the message is very clear here. Eight Swords crossing Nine Swords. We put ourselves in each of these. Stop worried about bullshit. Stop wishing for bad luck and knocking on wood. Stop fucking around. Okay? Stop worried about shit that you stop seeing glimpses of the end. Stop being pessimistic. Stop being stop being up at night worried about nonsense and this, that, and the other thing. And just if you want victory, take it. It's there. The hand of victory is wide open. Just go ahead, take it. Take it. Mm. End of story. Mm. It's there. Walk your talk and you'll be fine. Don't second guess yourself, trust your intuition, but just stay out of your head. Stop being afraid of everything. There's nothing to fear. This is an energy right here, if, if I had to sum it up. You know, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. That old FDR thing, right? That old FDR speech. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Remember that. Victory's there, just take it. All you gotta do is walk your talk. That's all. Alright? Stay out of this. This is this is your Achilles heel. Also, I will tell you in the energetic new year. And I may have written about this in my November write-up. Maybe mentioned it in a recent energy update. Lazy, sloth is going to be your downfall. You want to snatch defeat from the hands of victory? Be lazy. Do your research. Do your whatever. Check your. Ch you trust your intuition. If you something you need to look into, look into all of that. Being lazy, being fearful, holding back, being an excuse machine. All of that epic fail. You're not going to get away with it in the new energy. But there's a lot to be had here by being brave. Fortune certainly favors the brave for sure. But it actually, I'm going to rephrase it for this. Fortune favors the less worried. The ones it, it, uh, defeat favors the worry warts. Okay? That's basically it. Alright. There you go. Don't worry. Be happy. I don't know how else to phrase it. If you want the extended, the link's in the description. We got a devil to find. We got justice and, and a hangman to pull on. I will open by pulling on you in this new energetic 1111 portal energetic new year thing. All right? Um, and we'll pull whatever other readings are necessary. That is your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, everybody who watches. Good luck.